Hey everybody, it's Rafi at Zurb, and I got a great video for you on the callout component in Foundation. So the callout component in Foundation creates a box with some border and some padding and a few other little visual styles as well. So you can use these for a lot of different things like alerts or specific like quote containers or other types of containers as well. I'm going to show you uh, real quick an example of how to use this and create this component. So if we hop over to our demo here, we'll add a class of callout. So div of the class of callout creates the callout. And then inside, uh, let's do like an icon font here or some kind of image. And let's do a paragraph tag. All right, and then let's add a button. Let's do that, and then a class of, of button. All right, so now we have our callout set up. So as you can see here, whoop, uh, let's do save. All right, so as you can see here, the callout itself is the border and the padding to create this container. And there's some other specific styles um, that relate to the text inside. So the text inside needs to be uh, very readable and have the proper contrast. So there are some adjustments that are made to callouts to allow that. And you'll see that when we start adding some colors. But this is the basic callout. It's going to fill the width of the container that it's in and uh, content inside of there will have some padding around it. So if we hop over to the coloring classes, you can see that there's lots of coloring classes. These are based on the foundation color palette um, and this allows you to color your callouts in different ways. So these colors can convey meaning, so we can add a callout. Let's say this one should be uh, success callout. So if we add the success class, it's going to turn green. Now, you notice that the contrast of the text is very, um, is very good, and that's because the green is actually muted down from the natural uh, success color. So the hex color for uh, for foundations success color is actually a darker green but it's lightened for the callout that way the um, text is very readable and same thing if I did the primary class now the primary class uses the primary color in the foundation color palette and again it's lightened down now the primary color in foundation is actually this this uh, the blue of this button here so you can see how much it's lightened down that way. The, again, the text is very readable. Uh, and you can also do alert. So if you want this to really call attention and maybe um, denote an error or something like that, you might use it there. And then there's also the warning class. So there's a bunch of different coloring classes that you can use based on the foundation color palette. And you just chain those onto the callout class there. Now you can also size the callouts using a couple different classes. So this is the default callout size. And just to show you the difference, I'm going to add another one just underneath. And now I'm going to make this one a small callout. So what that does is it reduces the padding. So uh, you can have a few different padding options. So default up above, small down below. And let's just actually make this uh, a large callout. So that's really going to increase the padding around it um, and create more of more more padding around the container. So it's actually a bigger callout. Uh, and this might be useful if you're creating like a hero section for your site, or maybe you just need a lot more padding visually to to make the um, text more readable or make the component a um, little bit uh, look nicer. And of course, you can create an alert with these callouts using the closable um, in Foundation. Now, the closable actually uses uh, Foundation's toggler component. Uh, we have more information on that on the toggler component itself. 
but I'm going to show you how to make this alert closable. Okay, so I've set up this really simple example here. I have a call out. It has the warning class, so that's why it has this kind of orangish color. And it also is warning us of something that um, we might want to create an action on and, and cancel, or we might want to dismiss it. So if we want to dismiss it, we can make this uh, an alert, a closable alert. So one thing we could do is use the close button inside of this. So this is a different component foundation. You'll, you'll find this in the buttons category or the controls category under close button. But I'm going to show you how to use it here. So uh, it really pairs well with the call out. You'll see what I mean. So if we paste that close button in here, um, it's going to create this uh, X here. Uh, the data dash close tells the JavaScript that this is a close button. Now it's going to look for a closable parent. So uh, that's why we need the data dash closable attribute on the callout. So this is the closable parent. Uh, now when you tie these two things together, we can actually close this thing out, which is really awesome. So if I refresh, I'll bring that back into the page. So we can go ahead and close that out again. Great. So that's really handy. And you can actually use this with animations as well. So if we wanted to, we could use motion UI's animations. Uh, that would be slide, let's say slide out right. Something like that. The default is to fade. So anyways, the point of this is that we can create a closable alert using the foundation callout, but then the animation would close like that. So callout's really handy, easy to use in foundation, gets you some quick styling. And we teach about this and all of the components in foundation in our intro to foundation class. So I'll put the link there below. Make sure you check that out. And this is Rafi from the foundation team signing off.